Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas. So today I am launching Vlogmas, which is a sewing vlog tour, which means that every day a different sewing vlogger will be taking you through a daily vlog style of what they're doing in December. I say December, I'm filming on the 30th of November, but every, every day um, a vlogger will be filming and putting their video live the next day. Now, for many of us, this is our first time doing daily vlogging style videos, so be patient with us. Please do go check out everyone's vlogs because everyone's putting lots of effort into making sure they've got a fun day filming for you. Let me tell you who's going to be involved. I'm going to have to look down at my computer screen because 23 vloggers is quite a lot to remember, <laughs> so bear with me. So I'll be filming today <laughs> for tomorrow for you guys um, with the vlogger Kristin at the Dahlia Society, So Society, Catherine from Hide and Silk, Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery, Kirsten at Small Bobbins, Alex at Gingerhead & Co, Megan from Megan Sullivan, Jane from Loopy Mabel's Closet, Nikki and Rachel from the Stitch Sisters, Gemma, a girl so geeky, Freya from Crafty So and So, Karen from So Little Time, Adele from Button and Pip, Haley Jane from So Haley Jane, Kira at The Island Socialist, Danny from A Pocket or Two, Kim at Dorothy's Daughter, Helen from Boatful Bows and so much more, Joe from Joey Sewey, Akram from Akram's Ideas, Juliet at Juliet Uzor, Deb from Slap Happy Plus Size Sewing, Haley from Hales More Sewing, and Natida from So Natural Dame. Now, every one of these vloggers will be putting up a vlog in the run-up to Christmas, and then I will do a summary vlog at the end of um, this period. So it will go live on Christmas Day, I'll film on Christmas Eve, just talking about the experience of Vlogmas and the run-up to Christmas. I really hope you guys enjoy this. It's brand new, like I said, for lots of us. So do bear with us. But I think it's going to be lots of fun seeing what everyone's sewing in the run up to Christmas. Now I'm going to let myself talk you through my day. Welcome to Vlogmas. Hi, guys. Now, today is the 30th of November and I'm filming for tomorrow, day one of Vlogmas. Um, now, I will have already popped in an introduction talking to you about the vlog tour and all of the wonderful vloggers that are taking part this year so I won't repeat that now um, but please do go check everyone out because uh, it's going to be a really good tour I'm looking forward to it. So as you guys know I had an operation on my wrist on Monday and I am recovering well and um, mostly the painkillers have just been really wearing me out so I've been quite tired um, and my wrist is obviously still quite weak and kind of delicate <laughs> so I am uh, looking after it I haven't done any sewing yet but I am hoping to attempt some sewing today because yesterday my wrist felt quite a lot better um, than it has done and I'm hoping to to give it a go um, so I will show you a bit more about what I'm doing later the only sewing related things I've done um, this week is measured out some fabric really exciting and traced out some patterns so I traced out the Merchant and Mills camber top pattern yesterday and um, I'm hoping to make up a twirl of that today and also the um, kilo silo from closet case the top and dress pattern which I bought in the Black Friday sale yesterday and the closet case Carly Cali shirt which I also bought in the Black Friday sale yesterday. So I'm planning on um, printing those out and potentially uh, sewing up some of that as well. So I will talk to you about that later. But first of all, I am heading off to Nick's grandparents' old house. So my husband's grandparents have recently moved and Nick's grandma was quite a serious seamstress. And there's a pile of stuff I have been told for me to look through to see if I want to bring any of it back, if it'll be useful um, for me in my sewing. So I came home with a big box of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, in this box there is, oh, I'm going to be careful with that because it's heavy, um, a cast iron hand sewing machine that still works. There's knitting needles, there's tracing paper, there's a whole bunch of uh, patterns and there's needles and threads this whole box of threads here um there's also quite a bit of fabric 
um, various things from sweater knits to sort of gorgeous velvet. Uh, there's a gorgeous bottle green velvet in here as well, um, as well as rulers, ribbons, more fabric, quite a lot of threads. Um, I'm particularly excited by quite a lot of these wooden um, spool threads that I've got. Um, Louvadoo Fabrics have a little display on their wall in their shop of these um, wooden threads that quite excited by and just some things like hooks and eyes and stuff so yeah i picked up quite a bit i've also got this sleeve press which i'm going to recover because i think it deserves it and that'll be quite a nice addition to my sewing room and also some leather now you guys know that if you watched my new york vlog that i've been after some leather because i'm going to practice I'm going to try and experiment with making some shoes. Now, there's quite a big piece of leather here. I'm not going to get it out because it's crunchy in some paper. Um, but it's this like caramel tan sort of camel, camel colour, um, which was quite cool to pick up. Also, look at this embroidery. Um, I thought this was really cool. I might use this to... Um, upholster the chair in my sewing room because the chair is starting to look a little bit worn because I only used cotton to upholster it before. So yeah, I'm going to go through this box. I'm going to try and work out what to use it for basically and where to put it all. But I've got quite a bit to go through. I also got these amazing pinking shears, which are super heavy. There's Pixel coming to explore. Um, which were made in New York. Well, they were made in America, the New York company. They don't have a date on, but they're really pretty heavy duty. So I was quite pleased to get hold of those. And I can show you more of this as well. So you see the wheel still turns. It turns a lot better than that. I just am being difficult and has like some pretty design on it. Mm -hmm. It still works. So yeah, I'm quite excited to sort of clean this up and display it somewhere in my sewing room. So I promised you at some point I'd be sat on the floor surrounded by fabric and now I am. I am currently cutting out my toile of the canvas set by Merchant and Mills. So let me show you that. It's taken me about 20 minutes to pick which fabric I'm going to use because I used to be quite confident at just picking a fabric and sewing with it even if I knew it was kind of a practice run but for some reason, I've got a bit nervous about doing that recently. So even though I have all of these duvet covers, this is a duvet cover from Asda. It's a poly cotton. It's unlikely to be particularly well used. Um, I still struggle when I sit and I look at my African wax collection because I always think that's quite good for toiles and practices because you get so much fabric and you might only want one or two garments with them. So having like one as a practice is quite useful. But for some reason, it just takes me a little while at the minute to kind of pluck up the courage to sew a practice run. So that's my plan at the minute. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to sew it up and see what it's like for fit. So taking a slight break from twirling the canvas set because Gemma from Sewing in Pyjamas just sent me a message to say that the secret sewing swap was ready to draw. So shall we do it? For those of you that don't know, I've been organising the secret sewing swap, which is a bit like a secret Santa um, for sewing participants. And I've been organising it with Gemma, who is sewing in pyjamas on Instagram. And we have 185 participants and I'm ready to draw the names. So let's do this. Yeah, we're sure. It's going, it's going. It's thinking about it. <laughs> Names of a John, let the fun begin. I just let Gemma know that we have done the draw. So we have launched the secret sewing swap, which is very exciting. So Jay from the Camden Stitch organised the secret Santa last year and passed it on to me and Gemma to organise this year. So hopefully it will be an annual thing and it will grow in uh, in participants because it was quite a lot of fun last year um, swapping gifts with people in the sewing world and seeing what everybody had given each other. 
So I've told Gemma I'm probably not going to start sewing up my twirl now. I just finished cutting it out when Gemma sent me a message because I'd imagine that we might have a few questions and we need to post some things on Instagram and things to let people know. So I'll probably take a little bit of a break now, have a cup of tea. My wrist is hurting me quite a lot today, which is a shame because I was hoping to get quite a lot of sewing done and I don't think I'm going to. But um, if I can get that twirl made up and maybe some patterns printed and taped together, then that'll be a successful day. So I'm just answering a few people's questions and posting on Instagram and I have some cute company. Who apparently has decided to think it's bath time now, just when I was about to put her on camera. Mm -hmm. Hey girl, is it bath time? Are you going to smile for the people on the camera? No, she says no. I also realised I hadn't shown you what I was wearing today, although it's really boring because I'm currently limited to wearing things that are easy to get dressed into because of my wrist. Um, so my wrist is not very swollen or anything, as you can see, but um, it is quite weak, so it's kind of difficult. I wouldn't want to button anything up or um, do anything that required too much movement. So I am wearing a Tilly and the Buttons Frankie tee, so it's just a raglan tee. Now I made this in March for sewing monochrome March. No, May for Sewing Monochrome May, one of the sewing patterns and prints challenge. And I made this from an old top. It was two old tops that I, I put together um, that I didn't, didn't ever wear. And really love it because this polka dot, like I said in a couple of previous vlogs and I say on Instagram quite a lot, I feel like polka dot as a neutral is definitely a thing. And I've been really enjoying wearing this underneath other tops as a long sleeve layer. This is a giant cocoon um, ready-to-wear cardigan that I picked up from Primark an absolute age, age ago and a pair of pull-on jeggings, which I don't even know where they're from. They're probably from New Look. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have any pockets, which is ridiculous. And normally I get really, really annoyed with them if they ever get pulled out of the wash. But right now, because they just pull on with nothing to worry about, um, they've been my friend. <laughs> So I have made up my twirl. I'm quite happy with it actually. Um, the sleeves are a little bit tight. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of room in the sleeves. But I did a narrow shoulder adjustment, which I'm pleased I did because I think it needed it. But, oh, it's all rolled up there. I think it fits reasonably well. Um, quite happy with where the darts are headed. Yeah, got legs this. So I think I might cut out a proper version tonight. Well, I just tried to print off a few patterns. So I have the Patterns for Pirates pencil skirt, which I think has actually all printed. Um, then I have the Closet Case Kilo, which is printed in half size. <sighs> which would be fine, except for... My printer is now out of ink. Fail. You know when you just have one of those days and you think... <sighs> so what I'm going to do is stick together the Patterns for Pirates pencil skirt pattern and trace it off or cut it out um, because I have a few of those I'd like to make up and then I think I might have to call it quits. The reason I wanted to do the Patterns for Pirates pencil skirt is because quite a few of the kind of novelty jerseys that I've got I want to make into tube skirts now I love the Tilly and the Buttons BB skirt but the seams down the side because that's like four panels rather than a front and a back isn't great for um really patterned fabric so for example the uh, astronaut ladies fabric that I got in New York that doesn't need seams down the middle so um I'm hoping to cut out a couple of these um should be really really simple and quick to make hoping to make them probably tomorrow now um but we'll show you if i get any cut out later so i've stuck together and cut out the patterns for pirates pencil skirt now i realize i could probably just make one of these myself but this is a free pattern that you can get just from their website i'll link it below and um it's quite a simple one to tape together. I have cut out the extra large but graded out to the XXL at the waist because I'm right at the top of the XL measurements for the waist and I'm a little bit worried it's going to be a little bit tight um, at the waist having looked at the finished garment measurements. So 
we'll give that a go. Now, while I've been sewing and going through all of the bits and pieces from that box that I, I brought home earlier, my husband's been sorting out a big pile of stuff <laughs> from the living room to um, throw away. So we're going to go and re- uh, reward ourselves with some gaming. So after a short break from sewing and sewing related activity, having been frustrated with my printer, um, I decided to cut out one of the pirates, uh, patterns for pirates, pencil skirts, and I made it. I'm really happy with it. Um, It's in this really lovely um, space jersey that I got from a custom group. It I think it's from Dark Violet Prints, but I will double check and put the details below. But yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. So going to finish off the night there, go and show my husband and then sit and chill out, I think. So that was Vlogmas Day 1. Please, please go and check out all of the other vloggers that are taking part. All of their details will be linked below. I would particularly like you to go over and have a look at Kristen at the Daily Society, who is hosting vlogmas day two so she'll be putting up a video tomorrow for you guys to see what she's been up to all in all a successful day for me i've quite enjoyed this daily vlogging thing um i would love to know if you would like to see more of this um i'm thinking about recording a little bit each day in december and maybe just putting up something at the end of the week but let me know what you think please enjoy the rest of vlogmas and i will check in with you guys soon thanks for watching bye